But even my young, high IQ, motivated guys, you know, who are reading personal development since high school are going to struggle, especially if it's your first business. Like I get guys emailing me or, or sending me comments or talking to me and they're like, Will, I've been at it for three months and it's not working. And this is from a smart young guy who's been reading all this stuff and, you know, has an idea of what's going on. And I'm like, dude, you have no idea what hard is. Okay. Your, your expectations are not there. Okay. Business ownership is hard in the way that you can't even conceive. All right. You can't even conceive how hard it's going to be. You have an idea of what's hard in your head because you're doing your reference points to where you studied really hard for a test or you maybe worked really hard in school or whatever. It's not like that, dude. It's, it's hard. It's, it's a hardness that you can't conceive because you haven't done anything that's that fucking hard. That's why most people don't have a business because it's really, 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 really fucking hard. And that's just for like a fucking six figure, you know, real estate or insurance sales business. Or if you're doing location independent, you know, coaching or marketing or um, those types of, of service businesses, copywriting or whatever. It's fucking hard, dude. It's hard. And don't tell me you've been at it for three months. Okay. Come to me when you've been at it for three years. And the first thing I ask a guy when he's struggling after three months is I'm like, dude, how many hundreds of cold calls and uh, emails are you doing every day? All right. How many hundreds, hundreds. I worked for a call center once because I, I had no money. Um, and they had me doing 400 calls a day on an auto dialer. 400 a day and that was on a six hour shift for minimum wage 400 a day man you can do 400 a day for your own business right if if a call center employee doing six you know doing this six hours a day can do 400 calls you can do it right when i was in montreal and i was in school and the only job i could get was at a at a fucking a phone survey company, I had to, I had to keep people on the phone for 45 minutes to get them to fill out a survey. I didn't even get a bonus for that shit. Right? Like that shit was hard. If it, you know, you know, like you guys haven't been through hard, man, because most of you guys are middle class or upper middle class. You never been poor. I grew up poor from a single mom. Like we had no money. I had my shoes on layaway. You probably don't even know what, where that is. That's where you pay, you pay the shoe off on like a monthly payment plan, right? We had a rotary phone, okay? You probably don't know what that is. Is it where you had to dial the number around in a fucking circle, dude? Like, I couldn't buy new sweatpants, so if I tore up the knees of my sweatpants, my mom would scream at me because she had to take an hour out of her time at night to sew, the, to sew a fucking patch on that sweatpants, man. That was my life, dude. Like, I'm, I'm trying to explain to you guys what hard is, man. Cause, cause, cause I'm getting guys they are like, I've been at this three months or six months and, and I'm only making a thousand dollars. It's like, fuck dude talking about hard, man. Talking about it's hard. It's going to be really hard. All right. So here's the deal. Okay. Even in the last year, I'm having shit that goes wrong. Okay. In, in this year right now, I'm at it eight hours a day, every day I'm grinding. Okay. I've had payment processors go down. I've had product processors go down. I've had my Canadian bank accounts get flagged for something that I bought online because I live in Thailand and I had to call them up. You know, I can't get money out of my machine. And one time, a couple months ago, got flagged. I wasn't able to get it back over the phone. They told me I, I was going to have to go back to Canada. So basically I hounded my branch manager, my local branch manager in Canada for like a month. She's dodging my calls saying she's going to get back to me. I got my mom to go in there. I, I found the only international fax machine in Chiang Mai to fax over my passport and my birth certificate and all this other shit to get my, my fucking money back. Okay. So that's like 80, my 80% of my savings was in my Canadian account. Right. That's how fucked up this shit got in, 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 in my business because they saw all these payments going to SoundCloud and my hosting and I'm in Thailand and I'm, I'm, I'm like, yo, I'm trying to explain it to them. They're like algorithm, algorithm, algorithm. It's out of my hands, blah, 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 typical bullshit. But luckily I had, you know, I have two Thai bank accounts. I have pay in the year, I have PayPal, I have all this other shit. But like, 
that's because I knew what to expect. I knew shit's going to go wrong. And now I know what to expect. I don't pay for any of my online stuff with my Canadian bank account. I do everything with my Thai account. So if anything goes wrong or my something gets flagged, I can just go into my Thai branch and be like, yo, this transaction was mine. You know, can you, let's get my bank account back online. Or I can use a Payoneer credit card. Payoneer is pretty sick. They send you a card too. So I, that's just like, the day in the life type of shit. Every week I have some kind of technical problem or some type of bullshit. Every day I still have to do shit that I hate, okay? I love making these videos. I hate uploading it, adding the tags, you know, adding the thumbnail, um, making the article look nice, adding it to Facebook, to send, all that other shit. I hate technical problems. I hate um, answering emails. I hate reading emails, I mean, every day. And I'm grinding. I'm going to be grinding for the next two years. I've got 25 projects I need to get done. I've got 25 products I want to launch. And each of those products has like six or seven little micro tasks in it. Not, not to mention my personal projects that I want, which is at least 10 or 15, right? I mean, I'm going to be grinding and building for the next... I'm still building this thing, still grinding big time. And I'm going to be doing that for at least the next two and a half years to get to where, you know, I can take my foot off the gas pedal a little bit. But even then, I'm still going to be grinding on this thing for the rest of my life, dude. That's what it's about. Okay. So, I mean, I got competitors stealing my words. Like, I've seen guys steal. I said, one guy stole my actual sales page, right, for my Tinder book. He stole the words from it. Guys are stealing the words from my, like my actual words, man. You know, guys are trying to take my books and and pawn them off as their own. I mean, you know, I've got uh, I wake up every day to someone insulting me on YouTube. You know, saying that I'm this and that, like all the all this shit. To become this guy, I had to really adjust to becoming a personal development guy. I didn't really know what I was doing when I started this. I didn't, you know, I didn't, it didn't click in that like, you know, how much I have to stretch, not to just to be doing this stuff for myself, but now I'm doing it for all you guys. So I got to wake up every day and be on it, man. I got to remember all the stuff that I wrote and fucking stay on that, you know, and that's just my business. For whatever business you're doing, you're going to have your own challenges and stretches and, and things that you need to do. But like, man, what it really takes to build a business is like, you got to get serious and you got to expect it's going to be hard and it's harder than you think. Okay. So like, even if you have conservative projections for what you need to do for your business and how much money you think your, your business is going to make, you're still underestimating, dude. Okay. Set conservative projections for your goals. And what I want you to do right now is, is you take those conservative projections for your goals and your projects and your business, and I want you to triple the amount of work that you think it's going to take to get you there, okay? Triple the amount of work that that you think it's going to take. So if you have a goal to make, you know, $3,000 a month in your first year of business, and you think you have to do X amount of work, triple that amount of work. Triple that amount of work, because that's what it's going to take, all right? You need to 3X... X, at your expectations or more. My man Grant Cardone in his book, The 10X Rule, tells you to 10X your expectations. And uh, in some ways he's right, okay? But I don't wanna push you too hard to where you're getting burnt out, but I mean, it's it, it's crazy like how much, how wrong you're gonna be, okay? 10Xing is not for everyone, right? But like. You, you're going to have to stretch harder and longer than you think. Guaranteed. Guaranteed, guaranteed, guaranteed. Okay? Success will be longer than you expect. To get that bitch off the ground, you're going to have to do things you hate every day. Like cold calling and data entry and technical problems and emails. Okay? Until you're able to get someone, pay someone to do that shit. But that's going to be like four years in or three years in. You're going to have to work harder than you expected. You're going to have to work longer than you expected. You're going to have to work and be doing things that you didn't know you were capable of. I didn't think I was able to to be a salesman or a cold caller. All right? I did that for a fucking decade almost. Became a beast at that. 
I never thought I could. I was able to do that. I was. I'm like. I'm a. I'm a polite Canadian boy. I don't want to harass people. But I made it happen because I had to make it happen. Okay, you're gonna. You're gonna have to handle problems that you didn't expect to happen. Okay, because as much as you can project, you're gonna have shit that goes wrong, and you're not gonna expect. It. You're gonna have to power through self doubt because when it gets hard, three months in, six months in, nine months in, twelve months in, a year and a half in, two years in. All those points you're going to be like, man, I don't know if I should have done this. You're going to have to power that through. You're going to have to remind yourself, job is not an option. Job is not an option. Job is not an option. Right? 